I'm Sota, and right now I'm in the kitchen, and I'm going to make a Japanese meal with Japanese pumpkin called Kabocha no Nitsuke. The reason I'm gonna make this is, well, I'm gonna explain that in a different part of the video, so make sure to watch till the end. Okay, let's start making! Kabocha no Nitsuke is simmered Japanese pumpkin in English, and these are the ingredients. Water Soy sauce Cooking sake, sugar, mirin, and lastly, Japanese pumpkin. First, I'm gonna remove the seeds from the pumpkin with this spoon. Okay, now it's done! Now I wrap it with plastic wrap and I'm gonna microwave it because without microwaving it, it's going to be hard to like cut this. Okay, let's put it in the microwave. There we go. Now it's all warmed up and ready to cut. I'm done cutting. Now I'm gonna simmer the pumpkin. First I'll put all the pumpkins in there. Next, water. Soy sauce. Cooking sake. Sugar. And lastly, miri. And I'm gonna put this droplet on turn it on the fire. And wait a little bit. Hi, I'm Mocha. Wow, this looks delicious. Let's eat it, Soda. That's a great idea. Let's eat it. Yeah. I'm going to take one for me. One for myself. Yeah. And I'll take one for you. Thank you, my daughter. <laughs> okay, let's eat it. Okay. Yeah! Oh. Mmm, it's really soft. Yeah. And sweet. Yeah, yeah. Are you having trouble? No. Oh! Yeah. How is it? Very good. Yummy. It was very delicious. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. I'm glad you liked it. Yum, yum, in my tongue. <laughs> the reason I made simmered Japanese pumpkin is because there's a custom to eat pumpkins or azuki beans on winter solstice. And this year, today, December 22nd, is that day. 
The winter solstice is called Toji in Japanese. Toji is the opposite of summer solstice called Geshi, and it has the longest night time of the year. It's said that eating pumpkins prevents colds, and azuki bean porridge keeps evil spirits away because of its reddish brown color. A lot of Japanese people also get in baths with yuzu in it. Yuzu is citron in English. A bath with yuzu in it is called yuzuyu. In Japan, there is a traditional custom to take a yuzuyu on the winter solstice. It's said that by getting in a bath with yuzu in it, you can prevent getting diseases. We prepared yuzuyu at our house too, so let's go see it. Yeah. Yuzuyu is like this in ordinary homes. It smells really good and I want to get inside because if I get inside, I bet I won't get diseases. Even in many sento, or should I say public bathhouses, yuzuyu is prepared on the winter solstice too. Some public bathhouses prefer yuzuyu with so many yuzus like this. So today, we showed you what toji in Japan is like. Are there any special customs of winter solstice in your country? Please let us know in the comments. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure to subscribe, push the like button, and see our next video. Bye!